Hello and welcome to the Little Strong Patriots High School Sports Rundown presented by Cooks and produced by River Street Productions. I'm Assistant Sports Editor Brandon Marie. And I'm Sports Editor Zach Colburn. And we're coming to you a day later this week because the snow and ice talked us out of getting out on the roads on Monday morning. But we are here now and we're ready to talk about the final week of the Mountain Valley Athletic Conference regular season. On Wednesday, Wilk Central celebrated its senior night by sweeping its varsity doubleheader with Ash County. In the girls' game, the Eagles overcame a slow start to run away from the Huskies 63-43. Taylor Maston scored a game-high 17 points and went 5-for-5 five five from beyond the three-point line. And Kaylee McNeil was just two points shy of her second consecutive triple-double. For the Huskies, Samantha Wood scored a team-high 13 points. These two teams are slated to meet again in the first round of the MVAC Conference Tournament on Wednesday. In the boys' game, Wilk Central erased a 15-point deficit in the final three minutes to come back and beat Ash County 63-61. The momentum seemed to swing on a charge at midcourt taken by Josh Hickman, who finished the game with five points and three rebounds. Freshman Noah Johnson completed the turnaround with a floater that came with just four seconds left on the clock, moving the Eagles ahead 62-61. Johnson finished with 13 points, and Cruz Lowe added a team-high 14. West Wilkes also honored its seniors last week when they hosted the Trojans from Allegheny on Wednesday night. In the girls' game, the Trojans bounced back from an early deficit to beat the Blackhawks in overtime 41-39. These two teams went to overtime the first time they played this season as well, but the Blackhawks won that contest 47-42. This time, the Blackhawks were unraveled by a near 15-minute stretch in the second half where they could not find the basket. Caitlin Shepard scored just before the end of the first half, and West Wilkes didn't hit another field goal until Elizabeth Huffman hit a three to tie the score with 25 seconds left in regulation. Allegheny finished the extra frame on a 10-3 run to seal the win. In the boys' game, the Blackhawks got off to a sluggish start and could never fully recover as they fell 67-55. Allegheny dominated the first quarter and, and led 16-2 after the first eight minutes. West Wilkes actually outscored the Trojans in the final three frames, but never got any closer than seven points. Alex Greer led the Hawks with 19 points, including three threes, and Jesse Brown added 10. The championship races on both sides of the conference were not decided until Friday night in Hayes, and with wins on their senior night, both Viking squads earned a share of their conference championships. The North Wilkes girls, thanks to Wilkes Central knocking off Elkin in Elkin earlier in the evening, earned a share of the conference title by taking care of East Wilkes 57-39 and ending their season at 12-2 in the conference. Allison Livengood, who scored her 1,000th point against Starmount last week, poured in a team-high 16 points on Friday. She also completed a four-point play at the start of the fourth quarter to halt a Cardinals run. Alexis Perdue led the Cardinals with 14 points, and Emily Phillips chipped in 14 for North Wilkes. The boys were also able to clinch a share of the conference title because Starmount, which was in first place, fell at Allegheny on Thursday. So the Vikings took advantage of that opportunity and held off East Wilkes 66-58. Friday's game featured eight lead changes and the Vikings didn't take the lead for good until the final minute and a half. North Wilkes sealed the win by closing the game on a 10-0 run. Jordan Wallace scored a team-high 26 points, and Jake Richardson and Dylan Boggess added 12 points each. For the Cardinals, Andrew Nance also had 26, and Joe Logan added 13. There were eight Wilkes County wrestlers that punched their tickets to this week's state championships in the regional tournaments last weekend. In the two-way Midwest Regional at South Stokes, West Wilkes' Dakota Rourke, Riley Billings, and TJ Brown each advanced to the state meet as well as Wilkes Central's Evan Adams and North Wilkes' Gavin Huffman. Rourke and Adams each won their respective regional championship. In the 1A West Regional at Cherryville, Chimico Barber, Adam Moore, and Colby Cooper all advanced to the state finals by earning second place finishes. Both the 1A and 2A state championships will be this weekend at the Greensboro Coliseum starting on Thursday night. In the 1A 2A Swimming State Championships last weekend, Wilkes Central's Sarah Olson took 5th in the 50 freestyle and 7th in the 100 freestyle. Before we go, I'd like to take a look at the brackets for this week's conference championships. 
On the boys' side, North Wilkes will host West Wilkes on Wednesday as the Vikings are in the two seed and the Blackhawks finished as the seven seed. East Wilkes will be at Ash County and Wilkes Central will be at Allegheny. On the girls' side, three Wilkes County teams will host games on Wednesday as the Eagles, Vikings, and Cardinals will host the Huskies, Rams, and Trojans, respectively. West Wilkes will be at number one seed, Elkin. The semifinals and finals of both tournaments will take place in West Jefferson at Ash County High School. As always, be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at WJP underscore sports. And while you're at it, go ahead and like us on Facebook too. I'd like to take this time to thank our sponsors, Cooks, and the dispensary for their support so far this year. This has been the Wilkes Channel Patriots High School Sports Rundown presented by Cooks. Thanks for watching.